Let me taste this. The pusher. I'm your pusher. I have to be the pusher. Am I burger for me? It might be. Hey, it's Queen Ray, and welcome back to her channel. <laughs> Welcome back to her channel. So today I'm going to be making something really simple, something really easy. We all love it. It's summertime, fine. So we about to get up into it, okay? This is um, burgers and fries with a twist. Crunch wrap supreme burgers. Okay, now if you see me do this, don't mind me, okay? It is literally like 97 degrees outside. I don't have a fan. I mean, I don't have an AC in my living room. Because they done ran out. I went to um, Home Depot and I tried to find one at Home Depot. Then I went to Lowe's and I tried to find one at Lowe's. And then I went to Family Dollar. I tried to find one at Family Dollar. But I couldn't find one. So therefore, I don't have one. Okay? So period. Um, I do, however, have a fan, uh, AC in my room. And so that's where I spend most of my days. Chilling out, maxing out. You feel me? Um, so if I have this, it's because it's really hot. And I also have this light on. So it's making it extra hot. And I also have the stove on, which is making it more than hot. So... Before we get into this video, there are going to be something that I need you to do. If you are a part of the Ray Bay squad already, then you don't have to do anything because that means you love me and I love you back. But if you are not, there is just simply something that I would like you to do for me. And that would be three things. And they are very simple and it goes a little something like this. First things first, I'm going to need y'all to vent. Scroll to the bottom and drop a comment. Second thing, second while I'm still on the mic, hit the thumbs up so you could give me a like. One last thing, I'm gonna need you to subscribe. And after you do that, welcome to her tribe. So that's basically how we're gonna start it off, okay? We're gonna get into this video, how we get into it, because your girl is sweating bullets. I feel like I'm really, really hot, and I wanna get it done. And I'm also hungry, and my kids are hungry too. So let's just move on. So as always, I have to let you know what we need for the recipe. So because it's burgers and fries and a drink, I'm pretty sure you know the necessities, but I'm still gonna roll call for you. So you're gonna need your turkey burgers or your beef burgers or whatever you prefer. Whether you wanna do a frozen style or whether you wanna ground them yourself. I actually wanted to make mine myself. So I have my ground beef, already had my seasoning and I already have my onions in here. Everything is already set. It's so hot that my meat is getting mushy. My meat is sweating, child. Oh my God, I ain't never seen meat sweat. Mm. Anywho, okay, also gonna need some cheese cause I eat my burgers with cheese, okay? Also gonna need an onion. I already cut my onion, so half of it is already in that pan. Tomatoes, because I like to have a real like McDonald's burgers. To all beef salad, special onions, lettuce, pickles, and tomatoes on a sesame seed bun, or whatever that is, that's what I like. I like lettuce, tomatoes, onions on my burger, okay? So boom, that's that. And then you're gonna need flour tortillas because the flour tortilla is going to be the way we're gonna wrap our burger. And then, because I said I was gonna be making fries, you want to get a few potatoes. If you want to do the bag fries, frozen fries, it's up to you. If this is regular, regular, okay? Burgers and fries. You know how to get down. But I'm going to do mine. I'm doing everything like a little homemade because it's a little lunch edition. I ain't doing lunch with you in a while. I always do dinner. So, yeah, I got to make my lunch real, real, real sexy. Spice it up just a little bit. Ah. Okay, so for my drink, I have frozen fruit. Ooh. Jesus Christ. Oh, that feels so good. Okay. I have mango, raspberry, blueberries, and then I have strawberries. And then you gotta top it off with a little bit of spike of something. So I have a sangria spritz reader. Never had this before actually, so I'm going to try it today and I hope it's really good. Like I said, anything I drink is gonna be good because I'm gonna be good to me. Okay, so we're gonna head over to the stove so we can prep our burgers. I feel like I'm talking really fast, but that's because my ass is hot. I feel like a pasta up in here. Okay. All these lights, camera actions, the things. We're gonna put this. Um, we're gonna put the burgers in a pan, get them cooked up, and then we're gonna start on cutting our potatoes up for our fries. So let's get into it. Okay. So I had to turn this 
try this up just a little bit because it is really hot. I already got my pan ready, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my burgers. They're not gonna be little tiny burgers because I have a lot of meat in here. So I might as well make them a nice size. Okay, so I'm gonna put some meat in here. So I'm gonna put some meat in here. Like I should put this meat under some AC. Okay. So I'm gonna make my patty. Put a lot of that, a lot of onions in there. You know, once you make them, you cook them down. They uh, shrink anyway. All right, so we're almost done with the burgers. So far, I got three cooking. I got two to the side. You could tell I was like Aunt your Mama. This is crazy, crazy. In here, like. I don't even know what to call myself. This is why in the summertime when it's hot like this, and this is really why I should have AC in here because I I still like enjoy cooking, but it gets really frustrating when you're sweating and you, you know, you can't think straight because it's heat and it's sweat dripping down your forehead. And I see how they be in the kitchen at restaurants. That's why they can't get your order right because they be back there sweating up a storm and just can't think straight and it's just too much going on for them. So yeah, that's why the food, now I see why the chefs be coming like that. Cause this is a lot of work. Y'all be asking for a lot. Then you come out there and you bring your food to them and then they be like, oh no, that's not what I ordered. Can you please take it back? That's why them chefs be back there like, oh, all right. She said she ain't ordered that. Okay. I got I got her order. Drop that oil on the floor. Pick it up, throw it back in there, do it again. Like, what's up? And then you bring the food back out. They're like, yeah. They're like, yeah. That's perfect. Mm-hmm. I bet it is, ma'am. These patties are so slimy. I don't like it. After this, after I eat this nice meal, I'm gonna take me in. I actually, you know what? Sometimes I like to eat my. Who likes to take showers before they eat dinner, or do you take showers after you eat? Because I like to take my shower before I eat. That way, I could be comfortable already. Because you know, once you eat, you get the itis, and I'm not gonna feel like getting up to do nothing. So I'd rather take my shower, be comfortable, put on something I'm about to watch, and eat my food in peace. That's how I be rolling. That's how you roll? The girl is in here sweating. I ain't never made a video like this before. Look at my hand. Look at my hand. It needs to be done. And it's gonna be done tomorrow. I'm taking this out tonight. Okay, so we got our burgers here. Okay, we got the patties right there. That's four. And I got a few over here in the back. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six more patties, okay? So once I get those patties together, once I finish all the patties, then we can go on to the next step. As far as the fries, I said I was going to be cutting the potatoes up and when I said it, it was really, it had a, it was really, it was gonna work out. In my head, it was really gonna work out. But the hotter it's getting in here and the more sweat I start to protrude from my forehead, the more I said, frozen fries it is. So I put them wedges back. I'll do them another day. Maybe hash browns or hot fr home fries one morning. But right now I put them back and I got my frozen fries out. I'm preheating my air fryer because that's my baby and my baby will help me out when I am hot and I am falling apart. That's where I put my heart, okay? So I'm gonna put them uh, fries in there once it gets ready. And then after that, the burger is gonna be done. We're gonna wrap it up real quick, put the little, put the little dressing on everything on there and then we're gonna get to this drink because that's what your girl's been waiting for. Ooh, that's so good, yes. We got some things going on in here today, okay? I tried to do my little mozzarella thing with the kids earlier. Supreme Burger, that's what I call it. Supreme Burger and some home fresh made fries. That's what, the, that's what I was, that's where I was trying to go with it. But it didn't work out that way because I'm a dog trying to make them. So we're gonna cut out the middle man and we just gonna go straight to the frozen food. And we're gonna do it like that. So don't judge me because you know, I really get down in here and I really would've made them fries with my bare hands and I would have seasoned them the right way and everything. I would have had it real popping real good and real little, 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 but I'm not doing that right now because it's hot. So boop, 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 we'll be back. 
Okay, so here we are. I have four in the pan. I got four right here. I put, I just cut my tomatoes just to get myself prepped. And then I had two more right here. And then I'll be done. I have my air fryer on. My air fryer has four minutes and 37 seconds on it. Yeah, boo, 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 boo. Yes, I love my air fryer. Actually, I could turn them off because the heat will just allow them to continue to cook. They don't have to fully be on. So that's done. I took my lettuce out the wrap. I put my um, lettuce pieces in there. So I have like two pieces that's already taken off. Um, yeah, I'm walking around looking like um, I'm in the hood somewhere. But listen, while my burgers is cooking, I just wanted to say something really briefly to my fellow YouTubers. Because right now, um, it's not easy being us, okay? Let me try to make this cute. <laughs> it's not easy being us. Um, I know my kitchen and my little background is a little dirty, but I just want to say this to my fellow YouTubers, my small YouTubers. Um, I may not be the only person. I know I'm not the only person that's going through the, the moment of where you feel like you're kind of at a default or you're like stuck or you're at a hold and you don't know what else to do and you're like okay i done did this much for my con my channel i don't put this much content out i don't put this many videos out i'm finally monetized or i'm finally close to being monetized and i kind of start running out of ideas or i run out of energy or i run out of uh confidence or courage that you know i'm gonna be something now my problem was that i was looking at all the big youtubers and i was like why can't i be there right now and I'm always that type of person that just want everything to be done right away. Well, skirt, poop, Paul, sis, it don't work like that. You got to work for everything you want. And you have to put in the time. You have to put in the work. You have to put in the effort. And you have to be self-driven and self-motivated to do it. Nobody else is going to do it for you. Nobody's going to go get it for you. Nobody's going to bring it back to you. And nobody damn sure ain't going to be able to tell you how to do it. Okay? So, I feel like I had to give myself a pet talk. And I was like, okay, Raven, you done did this. You started in December. It's August, or well, not August quite, it's July going into August, and you become monetized within eight months. That was, a, that was a hurdle. The first 100 subscribers was a hurdle. Then the first 1,000 watch hours was a hurdle. You got past all of that. If you can move past all of that and you had great videos and you've met new people and you've networked and you've built, built relationships with YouTubers, other YouTubers, and other people that watch your videos, if you can do that within eight months, girl, who's to tell you what you're going to be able to do six months from now? A year from now, two years from now, I keep thinking that all these big time YouTubers were like overnight success stories, and that's not the case. Like, they literally had to bust their behind to get to where they at. Yeah, now they got production, they got people booking them, they got endorsements, they got advertisements that's paying them, they got all type of stuff. But it didn't happen overnight, and they became a powerful success because they were continuously consistent and motivated within themselves and each other. Um, as a unit and I feel like that's what I have to do between myself my man and my children I have to continue to be the the pusher I'm your pusher I have to be the pusher Am my burgers burning they might be but yeah I have to be the pusher because I want us to be somebody well we are somebody you know black lives matter we are black and we matter but um we just have to be bigger than what we are because we have that personality we have that family we have that mindset that that's what we want to do with ourselves we definitely want to grow as a unit grow as a family so i think that youtube has given me the platform to do that to broadcast my skills whether it be cooking food uh, i mean cooking food whether it be cooking hair um videos with my family whatever like that just to make you laugh or whatever i think that this is something that i want to do and i'm going to continue to do it and when I do get down on myself or get down on my luck or I feel like I'm running out of ideas or I'm running slow or nothing's really working or I'm not getting a lot of views or whatever, I just got to continue to believe in myself because that's going to make me continue to go forward and, and push and strive harder. And it's hard to become um, successful when you have other YouTubers as your followers. You know what I'm saying? Like in the beginning, when you subscribe for subscribe and you watch for watch, all of that stuff is good. You're building yourself. But once you get past that and you become monetized like I have, um it's a long road this is a whole nother level right now i went from the first level now i'm on the second level and i realized that i'm not gonna get my ads watched by other fellow youtubers because you guys are all in it for the same reason i was in it so yeah support is support but now i'm gonna have to find my community the people that want to watch me the people that are going to support me the people are going to love me the people are going to be interested in what i post that way as soon as i post the video i know i have people coming and not just other youtubers because 
while you out here trying to get your bag and I'm here trying to get my bag, who bag you going for first, boo? Yours. So therefore, I gotta make sure that I have other people that are not so much in the YouTube community as far as YouTubers, but just watch YouTube. That way that I know that they're going to come after what I'm putting out and they're gonna be looking forward to what I'm putting out. So that's just something that I wanted to share. Let me get these burgers. But yeah, I just wanted to share that because we all get down in our luck sometimes. We all get stressed out. We all feel like we're not doing enough. We could be doing more. Um, you know, this person is doing it this way. Why can't I do it like that and get the same result? Or, you know, just beat yourself up. We're our worst critic and we always feel like things that we're doing is not enough. Everything you do is enough for you, okay? It may not be enough for the next person or the next for the, the next person. But at the same time, if you're doing it, and you're doing it to the best of your ability, it's enough for you. Just be accepting of yourself. And I say this out loud, but I say it to myself as well because it takes me a while to believe in myself every now and again. I am human just like the rest of us. While I'm out here cooking these burgers, making these fries, and about to stir up a drink, I'm letting you know that I am human. I am here. YouTube is my new hello, okay? I want you to rock with me. Don't let me go. Don't let, don't fall off. I'm going to be here as long as you need it. <laughs> for real but at the same time it's just like you gotta you gotta believe in yourself you gotta believe in your talent believe in your skills believe in your strength believe in your capability i'm speaking life into whoever's watching this video because i speak life into the people that need like these vocal too all right i'm gonna turn this into a whole cook spiritual conversation segregation situation but um yeah so the burgers is about to be done took us long enough if I would have put my burgers in my air fryer, they would have been done in like 10 minutes. The air fryer is my savior. Okay. Oh, this is pop, pop, popping. All right, so we're down to our last burger. I'm glad that I made this many because tomorrow your girl will not be up in here. Oh, she won't be up in here. So while the burgers are cooking and we're almost done. Let's make the drink, okay? We got our fries completed. We have our burgers almost done. Let's head over and make the drink. All right, so you're not gonna be able to see my face. There she goes. Because if I lower it, I mean, if I higher it, it may fall. So we're gonna just get the ingredients to the fruit. I put them back in there because it's so hot. My fruit was melting. It was only out here for like 10 minutes. Um, with some ice. Look, 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 look. This is what happens when you have children. Look at this shit. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Who does that? Kids. They take all the damn ice and they put it back in there with nothing in there. And you know how many times I've told them not to do that? Yeah, I bet you do. A billion. It's ridiculous. Okay, so I have my fruit. Let me get my drink. I have the drink. All right, I'm gonna plug up my little blender right here. All right, so here we go. We have the fruit, we have our fruit, have our drink, and we have my ice. Oh damn, I'm telling y'all it's hot. My ice is melting right here, right now. Let me do this fast. Okay, so I'm gonna put my ice. Dang, it's hot. We are in the devil's castle. All right, that's about six ice cubes. Let's see how this fruit is. I like frozen fruit, even though fresh fruit is better. But when I'm making a drink, when I really do this because you know I'm being fancy right now. But when I when I'm making a drink. I do like it to be frozen because it's already cold and so it'll give it a cold taste already. So let's put... Okay. Oh, that's a lot of burrs. That's a lot of berries. Okay. Let's try the strawberries. I 
I love me some frozen strawberries. Those are good. Okay. Okay, y'all. Let's go to the berries. Something tells me I'm gonna need some more ice. Let me taste this. Reverse, 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 reverse. I was looking for something else, but I couldn't find what I was looking for. And I saw this and I was like, Sangria Spritz. I said, well, that sounds good. And I already had my fruit. So I was like, I'm going to throw that together with my fruit and see how it come out. Honey child, please. People be putting everything anywhere and I can't ever find my stuff. You don't be looking for something, and when you need it, you can't find it, but when you don't need it, you see it. it's everywhere. All the time. Okay. that I was cooking my burgers in. So I'm gonna put it on a small, low heat. So let's see it. I like ranch on my burger. When I make it on a bun, I always put ranch or mayo. Now I'm really trying to figure out why I'm standing here staring at this blender looking crazy. I am literally stuck like a mannequin. What? This is the burger I'm gonna use. So before I put my burger down, I'm gonna put my lettuce that I already rinsed off and clean. Put my lettuce down first. Actually, no, I'm lying. Let's rewind. I put my cheese down. Oh, it's thundering. I think I'm about to run outside, sit in the rain. We're gonna put the cheese right in the center. Just like that. I'm gonna take my burger and put it there. The lettuce that I already cut, put that underneath it like that. We're making it as a burger, right? So we gotta make sure we have the ketchup and mustard, honey. That's how I eat my honey. Okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it. One, two, other side. Three. Four. And as a Christmas present, five. So now, it looks like this. Into the pan we go. And so here we are. I have already made the plates. Okay, everybody got their burgers. 
Now I'm getting ready to cut my. I actually, want, I did want fries and then I changed my mind because I know I'm about to be drinking and I don't want to have too much on my stomach. So let's go ahead and cut this so we can see what the inside is looking like. the cheese is and if I would have put it in the oven if I would have put the cheese in the center put the cheese in the oven for a little bit and let it crisp it would have been like a crunchy cheesy but you know what your girl is hungry so this is and so that is all for this video I am done watching this video don't forget to like comment subscribe do all that good stuff down below you know i can't leave you without a positive note so don't you ever forget that no two people are like it's plain as you can see god created you to be you he created me to be me so make sure that every time you do your thing oh i should go in business you do it your way Hey.